1215, and Magna Carta limits the power of the king for the first time, as the barons lay down the law with King John. In 1258, Simon de Montfort's Great Council and the provisions of Oxford gave a small group of commoners a wider hand in governing the realm. Like father, like son, Henry tried to back out of the agreement, prompting a civil war. De Montfort won, and at his 1265 parliament, called representatives from towns and cities together, another first. Then the model parliament of 1295 gave boroughs and shires two representatives each. 1430, and the vote was given to freeholders of land worth 40 shillings or more. And the Putney debates of 1647 saw the levellers argue for voting rights for all. It was nearly 200 years before the Great Reform Act of 1832 swept away rotten boroughs, extending the vote to the new industrial cities. Reforms followed reforms, followed reforms, and the electorate grew. <clears throat> And in 1918, universal suffrage was finally achieved for men over 21 and women over 30. A decade later, matched at 21. Today, every eligible UK citizen over 18 has the right to vote for their representative in Parliament.